Well, tonight on the Health Watch, protecting young athletes who push themselves so hard they risk getting hurt. Back injuries, for example, are way up. But tonight, Dr. Malika Marshall explains how to make sure your child is safe and not watching from the sidelines. It was like an automatic, really sharp pain in the lower left side of my back. And then after that, I felt really stiff, and it was like hard for me even, to even walk. Stephanie was shocked when that sharp pain turned out to be a broken bone in her lower back. We were devastated, and there were a lot of tears um, because she was really excelling and, and really starting to progress uh, as a junior. Feet up, slow and controlled. After six weeks of rest, Stephanie began 10 weeks of physical therapy. Her doctor says teen athletes with injured backs now make up 10 to 15 percent of his patients. Red flags for me should be severe pain. I think that's one thing that you really absolutely have to bring your child in for. I think also, if this pain is steadily progressing, it was mild, kind of I described before, it was mild, it became moderate. Hey mom, this is still continuing to bother me. A new study from Loyola University found that back injuries are now the third most common injury after knees and ankles for athletes under 18. Any sport where you do have contact um, or you are uh, having to go into extreme end range positions like twisting and bending, that's going to lend itself to uh, a higher susceptibility to injury. To prevent these injuries, the Loyola report recommends limiting the amount of time kids spend playing sports by using their age. Numbers of years equals numbers of hours on the field or court every week. Also, try not to specialize in one sport before late adolescence. Take at least one day per week off from sports training and take a break from competition one to three months every year, not necessarily all together. I'm definitely more cautious now. Like before I used to dive after every loose ball and everything and now my mom's always saying like don't like be careful, don't dive for the ball, you don't want to hurt yourself again. So I'm definitely like more aware about what I do. The question still remains whether these kids will have lasting back problems into adulthood. That's one more reason why it's important to get treated early and take a back injury seriously. I'm Dr. Malika Marshall, WBZ News.